So growing up, I was the middle of five. Um, I had an older brother, older sister, and then two younger brothers. Uh, my dad was a college athlete, so sports started early for us. I think I learned how to swim before I could walk. My dad was super competitive with us, but it was more of a competition of like being the best within yourself, not necessarily against other people. I went out for a run, and I was like three weeks out from my marathon, and I hadn't felt good all day, but you know, us runners, we have to get our workout in. And I was a mile into my run, and I fainted, and I was crossing the street, so I hit um, the curb with my foot, and my head hit the metal box on the telephone pole. I immediately got up, and I tried to start running and realized I couldn't. And then I turned around to walk to the police station and realized I couldn't do that either. Um, luckily for me, there were Good Samaritans right there, stopped from cars and runners stopped. Ambulance came and luckily I had my road ID on. Um, so I told them, the paramedics, I had my road ID on so they could look at the phone numbers. I was super grateful to have my road ID and let it speak for me when I couldn't speak for myself. Um, my, my family was able to meet me at the hospital like seconds after the ambulance arrived with me. Ultimately, a friend talked me into going to see a doctor because something obviously was not right. Um, and it escalated from there. I, had, I was sent to see a cardiologist immediately. They put on a heart rate monitor and had me run. They clocked my heart rate at over 230 um, when I was like conversational pace. Um, I had testing done, I had a procedure done, and they confirmed that I was going into ventricular tachycardia, which is the second deadliest heart rhythm you can go into. It causes cardiac arrest. So I was super lucky that I did not go into cardiac arrest in any of my races. Um, I went through more testing to figure out what was causing it. I was cut out from running. I could not exercise. It went on for almost eight months until I finally had surgery up at Cleveland Clinic. Um, and then it was decided to have a defibrillator put in in March of 2023. I think it brought a whole new perspective of running and like what that looks like for everybody. When I started running marathons, I was a cocky former college athlete. So I was like, I'll qualify for Boston the first time. Um, I didn't. It took me like 13 marathons to finally qualify. But my dad kept pushing me and didn't let me give up on it. And in 2016, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. And I ran a marathon six weeks later and I was not in the right mindset. So I, um, I did not do well. I, I cried the entire drive home. So as he was getting cancer treatments, I was training um, and he passed away a few weeks before the flying pig. Um, and that was the marathon I was gonna run. I had, I had traveled all over the country to run a flat, fast race and never did well. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna run this because I wanted him to be there. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Um, I remember the morning of the race, the folks I had trained with asked me if I was ready. And I said, I, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this. Like this life is not fair. Um, but I got out there and one foot in front of the other and the entire way, the whole city showed up. Like I, I saw faces of people that I knew from all walks of life, almost every single mile. Um, but I remember crossing the finish line and knowing that I did it in Cincinnati where like my dad and I trained for my first marathon, we ran so much of the pig course together. Um, it was the coolest experience and I'll never forget that. To get started, I feel like first you should always check with your doctors, make sure that you're cleared to do whatever. But I think it's just setting small goals for yourself. I think just sticking with it because when you get into running, it, it can be hard the first few weeks, but once you start to get into that rhythm and get that runner's high the first time, you'll never stop.